lot of people think about Romeo and Juliet, you know, it's just Shakespeare. You know, people are afraid that it's Shakespeare and they won't understand it and they'll get bored. But really, if you don't really understand, it's okay, you'll, you'll get it. So don't let that intimidate you. I guess everyone thinks they know the story. I kind of thought I knew the basics of the story, but there's so much stuff that's still um, deep within it. There's moments where you're just like, oh my god, oh my god. Like in the beginning of the play, like when we first started rehearsals, we were like so intrigued into the, into the play, like beyond the movie, beyond the script. And there's a lot of comedy in there. There's a lot of hidden jokes. I, I never really like understood the nurse and like that she was like funny. But like now, like seeing her, like she's like, actually she has so many jokes to tell that are not PG, but yeah, and it's pretty funny. I feel like a lot of people know Romeo and Juliet, but they don't really exactly know it. And I feel like it would be a lot better if they went to come see it. Also, the cool fights, the dancing, and yeah, I think for all those reasons, you should probably go and come watch it. Once you start like actually realizing like these jokes are like like you just see like a whole new type of show, like you understand more of the more of the show. Sometimes I would understand something and I'd be like, wait, am I thinking that or is or is that you know really what it means? And then being in this play I realized exactly what those jokes were and I was like, oh <laughs> a lot of people focus on the actors, but it's actually the set and the costumes and all these colors that bring the actors to life. So it was like when we were building the set, first it was just a box, and then we started adding everything and the columns and everything. It was like so awesome, and like I remember we were drawing everything, but then after that we started building it and it started all coming together, and we're just like we're so excited to finish it and like to show it to everyone. Actually working for a fight is like actually more harder than just because when you're blocking like just saying lines, it's like you have to move from here to there and just say your line, but when you're having a fight, you have to like know exactly not not to hurt the other person. It's just um. It's more complicated to know when and where that's the exact timing. The difference about stage fighting and um, actual rehearsing with lines, well, you're both needing a lot of focus, but then for fighting with swords, it's a lot more complicated and we also need to know how far away from each other or, you know, where to block, or where to move, or you are going to have an accident like I got. <laughs> I did get stabbed in the shoulder, like right here the last time. Um, my partner, he twisted his sword and he just went straight through and he got me like right here. Like learning new things in like in the production, like I've never known how to do before. Well, I guess the kids are really interesting. I guess it feels like you're not alone. I guess it feels like there's more people sharing that moment with you. Talented. <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> New. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Every time. It's exhilarating. <laughs> Enriching. Epic. Memories. Come watch Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Montague all the way. Bye. Like, you know, it's a, it's a good show. You guys should come see it. See me in the beginning. Goodbye. Hope you watch the show.